Hey everyone, sorry for the de uh, delay, was having some unfortunate technical difficulties for whatever reason. My original webcam, which was my phone, decided it's not connecting anymore to uh, StreamYard. So I'm having to use my computer, was having to try to work around it. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Jared, really appreciate you with all your support. Nemo. Chats with dads here. Stuart, always good to see you. Hey, Thomas. Thank you, Nemo. Hey, Nash. Hworth3, thank you. Fogs, Fugs, Fogs, whatever it is. Thank you. Um, Brahim, thank you. Okay. Justin McDonald, good to see you as well. So yeah, we're uh, low resolution today. You have to forgive me for that, but I don't know. Technology can never be too easy. It was fine the last time we streamed and maybe Google has changed something with Chrome and I need to update something. But anyway, how's everyone doing? What you got on? If you're wearing anything, if you got anything sprayed, I'd love to know. Uh, what it is. Dying to know what y'all smelling today. Virtus Eau de Cyan. You know, I have tried it. I, I have the discovery set. Um, I have given that a spray. I don't remember being completely moved by it. You know, I have, uh, if I had tester strips with me here, I would spray it. I don't want to spray on my skin because I'm saving my skin. Uh, but I remember smelling it and being like, okay, I think it was fine. Uh, H24 EDP. Yes. Cannot go wrong with that. Killer Oud. Have I tried any Panadora? I have not been seeing them online for years. Hey, David Tempo, classic. Dark Oud, haven't tried it. Said the UK weather's dodgy. Okay, I would agree in my short visit there. Oh, uh, kind of cloudy in Chicago. I've been hearing things about mind games over and over. I need to try them and see what's going on. Uh, by the way, here, because of the wonderful webcam on this laptop, I'm being facetious. You can't tell that it's actually a gorgeous day outside. Um, yeah, you can't really tell, but the sky is actually blue and beautiful. Not It, does, it looks kind of overcast, but it's beautiful today. Um, Sense of wood is that's a good one. I just have a decan of that gentle fluidity silver. You already know, cool guy Willie. You already know what it is. Got on Prada Loam and then tonight Black Phantom. You got the whole day mapped. I like it. Um, ordered a few samples from the house of Vita Liberty Orange. I want to sample Zaharoff. Man, you have to try signature rose. I mean, it's going to be a mainstay. It's not going anywhere. I don't think it'll be ever discontinued unless the rose supply dries up or something. But everyone has got to try it. I've been saying that for years, um, especially if you don't like rose. Ironically enough, you need to try it. Terramez Ultra Fresh Classic Discontinued. Uh, I haven't smelled it in years, but I do. Love Old Givre, which I think functions as a good substitute. Bogart Prome, haven't smelled it. No, it's a classic. Luministe. Blind bought it, and I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I would agree, Sir Siage. Uh, I think what Luministe is, at least for me, and maybe you have the same experience, it will last on the skin. It is an eau de parfum. It behaves like one, other than having very very bright and volatile top notes that almost make it feel like an eau de toilette but as it sits on the skin it sits a little heavier 
and it actually stays a while for me it'll be there like eight hours or so and uh you know it'll sit closer to the skin and i won't smell it quite as much around me but it's still there so i would agree with you share ghee oh yeah that is a timeless classic luna rosa carbon what's up devin all righty aquadora okay have i tried blue noir parfum i actually have um ross my good friend from tltg has it and he had me try it the last time we were together in chicago and i also smelled it on him when he wore it and frankly it's not my favorite i prefer the eau de parfum the parfum is too powdery for me i like powdery every now and then but it was not really what i would want to wear on myself i definitely prefer the edp don't know if we yeah we did we're doing it right now dave luxuriance that is some good stuff that is a great scent for the spring that is good stuff not everyone's talking about that one so that is a gem very very simple green fresh but lovely very very beautifully composed very natural smelling thank you very much carmel hit like appreciate you what do you recommend as a fruity leather fragrance that isn't necessarily tom ford tuscan leather clone that's tough uh, obviously tuscan leather has influenced the industry in such a major way when it comes to putting fruits and leather together it's really hard to not make the association um if i can think of one that doesn't smell exactly like it Mas, um fragrance du bois milano fragrance du bois milano i think i have it right here yeah this one this is a fruityish leather but it's more green and it's more supple. It's nowhere near as brash as Tuscan leather. That's a good one. Smells very high quality. Uh, yeah. Russian tea. Yeah. Yeah, I would. For me, it's definitely more on the smoky tea side of things than leather. But leather's in there. It's definitely a, a foundation to the scent. Um. Oman Luxuries Kanjar. I'm trying to remember if I've tried that. I have a discovery set. I think I may have sprayed that. I can't remember. I've tried a few. I couldn't tell you. I have to come back to it. But I've tried several from the brand that I do enjoy. We'll be talking about them today. Okay. Have I tried the new Raja Summer Fragrance? If you're talking about Isola Blue, I have not tried it yet. Hoping to try it soon. Hmm. I still need to try that. Nishane, I believe. When am I going to review ATH? I think you've asked me before. Maybe not. I could be thinking of someone else. But um, yeah, I don't. The only full bottle I have of ATH is Smolder, which is his first collaboration with Fragmental, which is now discontinued. Um, I have little 10 milliliter decants that I need to give more full wearings to. I've sprayed them here and there and I like them, but I guess I just haven't been moved quite enough to include them in any lists just yet. But there's some that I do like um, that I find fairly remarkable. So I just need to spend more time with them. Are there any new designer releases you're looking forward to? Hey, Jens. Um, I am looking forward to trying the new Guerlain, L'Omidial, Platon, whatever it is, which seems like it could be a re-release of the Cologne version, but I'm curious to try that out. Um, oops. I did see that Armani is releasing Aqua de Jo Parfum. Now, frankly, I'm skeptical because, I mean, we just got the EDP, which was good, but it's it is what it sounds like and i think i think the parfum will also be what it sounds like but i'm curious to see what they did with that so i think that does have my attention right now i have been trying out 40 knots 40 knots is nice i think i've i don't remember if i featured it in any video since my unboxing i feel like i have done at least one but regardless 
good stuff. That stuff is really grown on me. I don't really see it as a summer fragrance. I could do summer night maybe, but it's grown on me a lot. I do enjoy it. Haven't tried any new boss bottles in quite some time. Lemensite, Louis Vuitton. Good one. Yeah, it does look almost the same as Profumo. Uh, any niche version of Sauvage Elixir? Interesting. I find Sauvage Elixir to be high quality, kind of niche, so to speak, which is a very relative term. So I don't know if I could offer anything else because not only does the quality fairly high, the price is too. So I don't think you'd want to spend more for that DNA than it already is. And I like it a lot, by the way, but I would not recommend a blind buy. Definitely worth a sample. I'm assuming you've smelled it and you're looking for something better. I'm not sure. Let me know. Amber Oud Parfum. If you're talking about Raja, beautiful scent. Lovely. You know, Joe, that makes sense. If it's taking its place, my only worry is that it's like basically the same. <laughs> like it's basically a re-release. Um, we've seen that before where they discontinue one and they bring in another as a new version, but it's really just kind of replacing it. Kind of like what they did with Eros. Versace Eros, we all know that the Eau de Toilette was powerful. Very, very powerful. It got watered down over time. They haven't discontinued it, of course, but they then added an EDP, which is like, as strong as the EDT once was. It's like, come on, guys. And then the Parfum, it's like, if you guys could do this, why did the EDT get watered down? We we actually really know why. But that's not what this stream is about. Okay. Uh, let's get started here. We're over the 10-minute mark. Um, I want to jump right into this. I don't want to take too much time. So as you guys know, because you clicked on the video, we have a box. I've already uh opened it so that we don't waste any time with that and um what is precious liquid i know all about precious liquid this is from max aroma so as i always say with my live streams for unboxings this is not real life okay this was sent to me for free I did not pay for anything in this box. It is not necessary to buy fragrances in this way. You know that already, but I feel like reviewers don't say that enough. It's not necessary to watch, uh, to buy a whole bunch of fragrances at once that you've never smelled. So take your time. There's no rush. If you can sample first, that's great. If you can't sample first, fine. But still one at a time is the way to go if you're asking me okay so we got a lot of stuff in this box um nemo 99 watching 36 likes oh guys 36 likes come on y'all that is the you know i don't like to put a whole lot of emphasis on those things but i have been watching my friend Ogun, Equality Fragrances, more and more. And I really appreciate the way he approaches things. And it's free, guys. Hit that like button. If you like the content, if you're here, you might as well hit it. It costs you absolutely nothing, maybe a half a calorie to click or tap however you're watching. Nonetheless, moving on, let's see what's in this box. We have quite a few samples, which I was expecting. I will be trying out a number of samples. Uh, maybe not all of them. And there's at least two full bottles in here. Maybe three. I'm not sure. There's This is a heavy box. So first up, we have a decant or a sample of Montal Sweet Vanilla, which I was not expecting at all. This is really kind of them to throw this in. Let me know if you've tried this and if you think I should try this right now. The anomaly, half a calorie is too much. Too much. All right. Uh, what is this? Atelier Cologne. Ooh, this brand is hard to get in North America right now. This is a sample of Clementine 
California, which I have been wanting to try. So maybe I'll try that. Maybe I won't today, but I think I remember maybe trying it some other time. Let me know if you've tried that one. Anomaly, I know I got you. <laughs> uh, have I tried Grey Vetiver Parfum? No, I haven't tried that yet. I know it's still uh, kind of an exclusive, maybe to airports or maybe to just in England. But if that changes, I'll, I'll see about it. Okay. All right, let's see what else. So that's the packing slip. Good stuff. All right, so we've got some bottles in here. Maybe just two. This is a big box. Jeez. One second here. I'm going to mute the mic so you don't have to hear all this rustling. Hold on. All right, we're back. Okay, so, wow, a lot going on here. This is, uh, ah, so this is what's in the thumbnail. Wanderlust from Oman Luxury. I have tried this. I have the discovery set, and I spent some time with Wanderlust. And honestly, my opinions on it shifted so drastically when i first tried it i was like what am i smelling what is this it was so pungent it was so distinctive i had never smelled anything like it and i was like no nah, i don't think i could ever see myself wearing that and then max Farmer reached out and said hey we're wondering what you think about Oman Luxury. Are there any full bottles we can send to you? So I kept revisiting Wanderlust and I'm like, you know what? I actually really like this. We're coming into the warmer months. This is one of the few that are really perfect for the heat, I would say. And the more I smelled it, it became captivating because it's so distinctive. And I will talk about it when I spray it. It's so different. It is not for everyone, but I just couldn't get enough of it. So as you saw, Wanderlust. So we'll get to that in a second. Let's keep going. I just want to make sure I know everything that's in here. Yeah, Malcolm has it as green as Hemingway. Yeah, this is... I see what you mean by that, but it's way greener than Hemingway to me. It's like, it's incredible. I can't wait to, to smell it again and describe it to you guys. Sweet dude, it's great. So Clementine, yeah, yeah. It looked, I, I think I remember, remember being quite nice. Okay. Just making sure I'm not missing anything here. Lord Malice, I'm glad you're digging that extreme. I know we've talked about that one before. Oh, Rudy is wearing Clementine. All right. Thank you so much. Really enjoy Second Soul. Thank you. Really appreciate that. I'm not sure if there'll be another. Not sure. We'll see. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. So this little thing is just full of decants, which is what I was expecting. This is cool. Okay. So Max Aroma filled a few decants for me. Um, so the last Max Aroma haul I did, they sent me a fragrance known as Vibrato or Vibrato, which was getting a ton of hype. <clears throat> Excuse me one sec. Now, if you saw that unboxing, you saw my first impressions of it, and you've seen videos I've done since. It's fine. It's a fine fragrance, but way overhyped. It's basically a clone of Bulgari Tigar. And I just couldn't really get behind it. I like the scent. Not to say I'll never wear it, but I can't re I can't recommend it for the price. And I told Max Roma about that. I was like totally honest with him. Said, hey, that one's fine, but I just, you know, think it's too overhyped. And they actually agreed. So they said, yeah, we'd love for you to try more of the collection. So... I told them which one I was most interested in, which I think they sent me a bottle of, but they they decided to throw in a few decants of the rest of the collection. Maybe not the whole collection, but a few of them. 
Oh, these are some cool little decants they got here. Have you guys ever gotten Max Aroma's travel atomizers? It's like has like a faux leather wrap to it. That's really cool. Super classy, kind of heavy duty. Okay, which one is this? This is Basso. So Spiro Basso. I've actually tried this one. I'm not going to try it right right now because I tried it. It was sent to me from Decan X. And um, I uh, tried it in an unboxing live that I did before. That one reminds me a little bit of Terter Mez Oligarch vibe. Someone had once said, which was very keen, they said, as soon as Roger Parfum discontinued Oligarch, so Spiro jumped on it and made their own version to capitalize on the DNA. I don't know if that's true. I can't say it smells exactly like Oligarch. It's not as sweet from what I remember, but... Um, I do remember it being nice at the very least. Okay, so the only problem is that I don't think these guys are marked. Yeah, the, so only the boxes are marked. So I'll have to be very, I might just have to keep them with the boxes. Otherwise, they will get mixed up. Okay, I'm not going to spray all of these. Let's see. Dolce Melodia. We have Liberto. And we have herba leather let's start with that let's actually spray something i know you guys have been just sitting here watching me talk and i appreciate that uh, but let's actually spray something um yeah, dj also loves the travel sprays yeah it looks like they are five milliliters i didn't realize they were once 10. okay let's spray herba leather nothing there i had something there last night but it's gone here we go great Atomizer. Good quality stuff here. Okay. I like what I'm getting. I like it. It's kind of fruity. We were just talking, talking about fruity leathers. There's a citrusy kind of tangy bitterness to it, like a bittersweet, juicy, fruity quality, making my mouth water with a fairly supple leather undertone but it's definitely there there's a warmth in there somewhere i'm going to look up the notes i'm not going to waste too much time with the uh the decants here because we want to get to these bottles you know what i'm talking about herba leather so this is maybe from a different collection it's a black looking bottle, herbal leather from Sospiro. And the notes are as follows passion fruit, bergamot, lemon. Totally getting that. Heart of leather, jasmine, sandalwood, base of leather, amber, vetiver. There's our note breakdown. Okay. I like it. Definitely getting the juicy, citrus, fruitiness of the citruses and passion fruit together definitely getting a warmth from amber and that leather which is obviously pretty present is not overwhelming it's good i wonder if this reminds people of anything not really yeah i like it i like it i'll keep an eye on it it doesn't smell exactly like anything else that i've tried which is what i'm looking for Okay, that's good stuff. We'll put that away. We'll come back to it. Okay. I want you guys to pick. If I had to spray either Dolce Melodia or Liberto, which ones are going to be? Vote in the comments. Put your vote down in the comments. Maybe write DM for the top one and L for the bottom one. Nemo saying Melodia. All right. We got one for Melodia. We got one for Liberto from Mohammed. Again, vote which one you want. Okay, so I'm seeing L, DM, L, L, DM, 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 L, L, L. Jeez, okay. You guys are really voting here. Uh, DM, DM. Is anyone keeping count? <laughs> Let's see here. 
it's you know just skimming it's looking kind of even it's split maybe i need to do them both dm l l l l l dm 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 okay wow uh yeah let's just start with dm we'll do them both <laughs> You guys are awesome. Thanks for being good sports, playing along. Okay, we're spraying Dolce Melodia. We're going to put this on the other hand. Nothing there. All righty. Chats with Dad. You're right, I have two arms, but I also have more fragrances I plan on spraying on. Oh, Dolce Melodia. Okay, as expected, sweet stands for sweet melody. That's what it means in Italian. Whoa. Okay, maybe a little too much up close. I like it more in the air. Uh, maybe a little fruity, floral. I get kind of an almost... I have two legs. Yes, chats with that. I sure do. Um, no shame to those who don't. Um, yeah, I get this kind of fruitiness in there. I get a floral quality, but I also get this almost succulent, creamy, vanilla-like sweetness, maybe. Okay, so here's the bottle. Different collection. Dolce Melodia. It is technically unisex, even though some might assume otherwise. This is a brand new fragrance. This actually just came out this year. Christian Provenzano. This dude has been busy. This dude is making fragrances for everybody. If you don't know Christian Provenzano, this man is just a busy man. Okay. Top notes of Mandarin Orange. Orange and Saffron. Heart notes of gardenia, jasmine, rose, pear, black currant. Base notes of sandalwood, white musk, and vanilla. I know that resolution is just mouth-watering. Uh, it's a good blend. I can't say it's sticking out to me as something completely different. Um, I'm reminded of... Things like spiritual from Mikalef. This is definitely a little denser than that. I'm reminded of even a little bit of Herba Pura. Maybe not quite as sweet as that, but not far off. And this is a brand new fragrance. There's literally like no ratings on this. Nothing. Am I the first one smelling this? Are we breaking new ground here? Smelly, thank you so much. Appreciate the super chat. Thoughts on Carlisle Pegasus Exclusive. Center of the day, 2017 Silver Mountain Water. Also might be R540 Amherst sprays a jet. Any interesting. Um, Carlisle, I've talked about from time to time. I've come around to it. I enjoy it. Pegasus Exclusive, believe it or not, still haven't tried it. Um, not sure why your br540 atomizer spring like a jet maybe there's some gunk in the actual nozzle or something is caught that's in the way i'm not sure uh i'm not sure that maybe you know where'd you get your bottle that would be my question okay james is saying so spiro's overrated maybe so i don't know it's all up to you you guys dictate value in your own life whatever's worth it whatever's not worth it that is up to you uh okay let's spray this final decant and then we have at least one more bottle to reveal in addition to wanderlust which we will spray and i'll talk about that um first of all how is herbal leather doing i like it yeah, I can't say it's like the most standout leather fragrance to me, but different enough. It is nice. It's worth a sample, not worth picking up a bottle right away. Okay, so let's give uh, Liberto a spray. 
Jeez, I'm going to be reeking, but I will be showering after this, so it'll be okay. Um, we got to save some room. Save room for my love. Who knows that song? All right. We'll go on the wrist here. Liberto. Liberty, I assume. Regal. I know what you mean. I'll be talking about it. Regal, Beagle. Wow. I'm already about to sneeze. <laughs> wow. Very diffusive stuff. Okay. Mmm. Interesting. Liberto. This, this reminds me at first sniff of some 1980s old school masculine sense. I'm getting like a reminiscence to something like Kuros or um what's it called Anteus I get that almost animalic I hate to say it but um urinal cake vibe <laughs> that's the only uh thank you Dave appreciate the blessing uh thank you James as well all those who said bless you appreciate y'all you're real ones I'm kidding uh, if you didn't, that's fine. But if you did, thank you. Um, yeah, I get this old school vibe. Very much so. What is in this fragrance? I would be surprised if that is the intention. Okay, so this is from the same... What? What? I just saw some of the accords. Uh, from the same collection as Dolce... Uh, Melodia. So this is probably also a brand new frag. Oh, this came out last year. 2022. What am I? What is in here? What? <laughs> Look at this no breakdown. This really reveals nothing like what I just said. Carnation is often found in some of these more older school masculine scents. With ozonic notes, that's very vague. But there's a ton of florals and peach and maybe I'm getting a ton of carnation on my skin. I'm getting like a spicy, slightly animalic feel in here. And maybe, yeah, it's a little floral. Okay, yeah, I still get the, the old school vibe. I like it. I like it. Um, But... It also reminds me, again, of some designers, some older designer fragrances that you can still get today that are nowhere near as expensive. So I can't recommend it. What have people said about this fragrance? Someone says it smells like spicy peach jasmine. I kind of see that. Okay, people are saying it smells exactly like peach. I get the peach a little bit, but it is it is shrouded in this masculine spice. Anyway, it's interesting. I don't love it. But it is interesting. Spicy urine cake, yes. <laughs> so once again, that is Liberto from Sospiro. Have you guys tried this one yet? Okay, let's shift gears. Okay, this is what I thought. We got two more bottles in here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not going to do this yet. We're actually not done with Suspiro. I'm going to spray one more Suspiro. They sent me a bottle that I specifically requested because out of all the ones I looked at, this one looked the most interesting. I haven't tried it yet, so this will be my first impression. Again, sorry for all the noise. So this one is called uh, Pasticcio. Oh, can you, you can kind of see the sky is a little blue when I do that. Because it is. Okay, let's open it up. Uh, scissors are not really going to work. I just need to use the old digits. James, yeah, sometimes I feel like they're just messing with you. <laughs> You never know. Okay. Let's open this guy up. All this. Okay. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Pasticcio. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Okay. So we're going to put this on the right wrist. There's so much fragrance around me right now. It's like overwhelming. Here we go. And it kind of shot out like a jet, like someone was saying earlier. Oh. Okay. Nemo said he has high hopes for this one. Pasticcio. I as did I. Um, so did David. Uh okay. I'm interested. I'm interested. I don't remember. I looked at the notes looked at, excuse me, looked at a few reviews, and I think I made my decision from there to decide on this one, but I have no idea. I can't remember what I read or saw. I don't remember what the notes are, and I don't remember what people said about it. I just remember that it looked interesting to me. Trey, the big bro, is asking, what it retail? I know it's not pretty. I think it might be over 300 uh, let me see. It may be less than that if you get it from Max Aroma. By the way, all the fragrances that I am talking about today, like I said, I got uh, from Max Aroma. There's a link down below. Okay, it's just under 300. So might as well be because with shipping and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, sounds like it has a pistachio note. I believe it sure does. Yes. Okay, so let's give this a real sniff. Mmm. Okay. Good news. The good news is I can say that this is my favorite Sospiro I've smelled so far. The bad news is, is that it, it reminds me of something very strongly. I'm getting this very robust, creamy, milky sweetness, but it's sharp, almost like in the vein of uh, like a Pegasus or um, it, it, it even has a little bit. The creaminess is almost reminiscent to like a fougere, like a barbershop style scent, too. It reminds me of one in particular that I can't place. What is that? It's one that I have. It's on the tip of my tongue. I feel like it's in that shelf back there. Gosh, it reminds me of one in particular. That's going to drive me crazy. Anyway, I do like it. I do like it. Let's see. What's in here? Because I don't remember. But as you guys have been saying, could easily be pistachio. Wow. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in here, guys. What in the world? What? No, they're just making up stuff now. What? It's like every floral known to man. I'm not getting a ton of all this. Rose, green notes, currant buds, hawthorn, mimosa, orange blossom, hyacinth, geranium, nasturtium. Never even heard of that. Heart notes, rose again, lily of the valley, lily, jasmine, violet, orris root. I get some orris root. Ylang ylang, lime. What? Base musk, iris. I get a little bit of iris, but it could mainly be oris, but it's all the same, whatever, kind of. Uh, amber, cedar, heliotrope. I'm getting heliotrope. That is what is reminding me of Pegasus, that kind of sweet, creamy almond vibe. Now, this is a new fragrance. It came out last year, but there seems to be no substantial reviews on it, so people haven't really voted 
for notes. You know, a lot of the time you can vote for a note and then you start to see ones take prominence and they get bigger on the screen and you'll see what people voted for. No one's really voted for it. But if I had to vote, I would say I do get heliotrope. It still reminds me of some Fougere that I have. Nonetheless, like I said, this is my favorite one so far. I do like this. What I like about it is that it's not powdery. I find, I would imagine that this fragrance could have easily gotten a little powdery with all of this, but it's not really coming off that. It's more smooth. It's, there's a, war, a warm sweetness, kind of like a creamy almond vanilla combination. Not getting uh, any real pistachio feel. You know what? Rather than just being ignorant, how about we do a quick little search and look up. What does this actually mean? What? <laughs> I just translated pasticcio. Now, I don't know if in different contexts it means different things, but as you can see, it translates to mess. Do we have any Italian speakers here who can corroborate that? Because if that is indeed true, then this note breakdown makes sense. This is a mess of a note breakdown. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. But I like it. I like it. We're going to move on. I'm, way, I'm using too much time on Sospiro. They've gotten all the limelight here. So we have two more fragrances that we're going to smell. Um, one of them, the last one I will show you right before I smell it. But for now, we're going to come back to the first one I showed you, which is Wanderlust. Now, this stuff is intense. We're going to spray it on skin, though. I might explode on camera with all these fragrances or this room will catch fire or something. Uh, this is from Oman Luxury. Maybe I forgot to mention that. Oman Luxury. Um, I have one other fragrance from them called Zafar. Beautiful oud fragrance. That was in the first, uh, last Max Aroma unboxing live stream that I did a month or two ago. Check that out. But anyway, I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to start spraying. Okay, so I think both wrists are covered. Um, our forearms are free. Uh, gosh, wow. A lot of stuff going on. I'm going to do the elbow pits. Elbow pits. Here we go. That's all I need. I, don't, I was going to do another. I would have died with another one. This stuff is so intense. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I love that this stuff is so definitive. It's very intense again, not for everyone here. Oh my gosh. It is so freaking green. It's like green grass, green leaves. It is so realistically green, maybe too green, honestly. Um, black currant leaf, I believe, is one of the primary notes in here. And it's like the, the leaf and the bud kind of working together. I get almost a bit of a fruitiness, but it's the type of fruitiness that does not come off as ripe. It is a little unsweet. If that makes sense, it's juicy, but not sweet, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see here. Wanderlust. I'm going to look it up so you guys can see these notes. Yeah, this stuff really turned around on me. Okay. It's so funny because you look at the notes and there's nothing really green in here. Black currant can indeed have a green quality to it. And I do get that leafy feel in addition to the fruit. But this is what they show. Lemon, bergamot, pink pepper, uh, black currant, which is the primary ingredient here. Saffron, cinnamon, 
olibanum, guigwood, and cedar. So it has kind of an instancy woody backbone. But it is mostly green. Even the citruses are swallowed up by this black currant. So, again, very specific. I think, um, where would I wear this? Because it's so distinctive, I would dress this up a little bit more. I think it's going to just suit it better. You can wear it casually fine, but I think any fragrance automatically gets a little bit of a boost when it's dressed up a little bit more. It just it becomes more palatable in a way. You, you're able to better pull off more distinctive profiles when you don't look like, you know, you just woke up. So I like it. And again, I, it was not a like at first. At first, I was like, oh, no, I can't do this. And then I started to realize this smells like nothing else. I'm captivated by it. I would totally wear this. I would totally talk about this. So my mind changed. Um, yeah, Sammy, it is kind of like the visualized effect of a forest for sure. Very transportive. Um, a dense forest during the daytime, very dense leaves, a little dark, honestly, because it's so dense. The forestry, everything is just so kind of packed in. This is not a bright fragrance to me. Really interesting. Kentucky Derby. Why not? Okay. I love Wanderlust. Green frags like this are just so comforting. I actually have worn it to bed, like sleeping in the green field. Cool. I know your cat isn't coming over. Oh, no. <laughs> you are right. No, Penny hates anything dealing with fragrances. Uh, okay. We have one more fragrance to smell. This is a brand I truly love. Um, they don't get a ton of talk, but I love the um, sincerity in their fragrances. This is from Algabra Perfumes. Turkish brand. This particular one I have smelled before. In that Decant X live stream that I referenced where they sent me Basel and they sent me a few others, they sent me a decant of this, which is called Labyrinth of Spices. And I fell for this fragrance. I continued to wear it after that live stream, again, just from the decant. I fell for it. I'm like, man, this stuff is so good. It was so sexy. And Max Romer reached out when they said, hey, you want a new Oman Luxury? They also said, do you want any Algabra? And I already had this in mind. I said, it's funny you ask. I do. So they sent this to me, and I'm thrilled to share it with you now. Such a cool uh, picture. It's like a, a bazaar, some kind of market. And it's just like normal people. Interesting. Okay, let's get the sleeve off. Wanderlust is taking over everything in the air right now. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought this was on the bottle. I'm like, oh, look at that cool design. But that's just the box. But it looks great. So this is Labyrinth of Spices. This is a beautiful brand. Um, I have one other bottle from them that I do enjoy called Scent of Paradise, which is actually a little bit similar to creed silver mountain water but it's a little softer less metallic more citrusy and uh honestly i like it more than silver mountain water so they may or may not have been influenced but i just happen to like it more uh it came with this booklet this is actually where that design was coming from it was sitting right behind the bottle um this is interesting is this multiple fragrances here yeah, all these different fragrances all laid out like that. That's cool. Beautiful stuff. So we have the notes here, I assume. I'm not going to need to look them up on Fragrantica. Yeah, notes are here. I'm not going to look at them yet. So we're going to... Oh, I just got a whiff of pasticcio as well. It smells nice in the air. 
That's beautiful. Okay. Uh, Max, this is a Turkish brand. They're from Turkey, from Istanbul. We're going to give this a little spray. Oh, what I love about these bottles, they are simple. It's a simple design, but the quality is undeniable. Look at the thickness here. The cap is metal, and it does click into place, which is cool. Anyway, I love the little things. <clears throat> Uh, just checking out these comments here. Mudar, hey, Justin, do you have any recommendations for a solid vetiver green fragrance for warmer weather? I had vetiver. Man, I just saw you post about vetiver the other day. <laughs> but I don't know what you had said about it. Um, it's funny you say that I actually have, as a part of my ingredients series, um, we did vetiver. Vetiver was the first one we did, but I've kind of evolved the series since then so i'm gonna do another vetiver video coming soon i've already filmed it and it's going to be more expansive than the first one so look out for that video i think it should have some good recommendations as far as what you're looking for okay final fragrance let's give this a spray into the elbow pit on this side again i've smelled it before oh, it came right out it was ready for me oh man yeah, that's beautiful stuff. I get like just a mix of spices. The name is perfect. Cardamom, nutmeg. Oh, yeah. There's a fresh spiciness. There's a cooling spiciness. There's a sweet, almost resinous feel in there. Maybe a cinnamon, woods. It is quite intensely spicy. I love that it's warm. There's a, a, a hotness, a heat, hotness, heat whatever there's a heat to it that is just like eyebrow singeing in the best way of course labyrinth of spices let's read these notes so again here we are it says inspired by grand bazaar which i would love to see someday here are the notes top notes of turkish coffee totally Totally, there's a coffee feel. Uh, pineapple, galbanum, and tobacco. Interesting combination just for that top. Heart, clove, and cinnamon. Um, nutmeg, anise, lavender, tonka bean, and cardamom. And base notes of amber, sandalwood, cedarwood, vetiver, oak moss, and woody musk. Guys, this stuff is beautiful. I know I look so ridiculous smelling like this, but... You guys got to check out this brand. And if, if you're going to check out one, check this one out. May not be the perfect scent for the upcoming warmer months, maybe for the evening time. Uh, for the heat, I would recommend Scent of Paradise. And there's others I haven't tried it, uh, tried yet that I'm sure are great. But this smells like nothing else out there. Very, very unique. It is delicious, um, but it's also kind of sensual. There's something alluring about this fragrance. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I will be talking about this more in some capacity and maybe less and less as it gets hotter. I don't know, but I'm going to try to get as much wear out of it as I can. So before we end off, I'm going to do a quick roundup of all the fragrances that are all over my body right now. Let's start with the first one, which was Herba Leather. Hasn't really changed much, but it's funny. Now it's reminding me a little bit of this one, Mosque Milano, uh, not Mosque Milano, Milano from Fragrance Du Bois. There's a green quality that I mentioned that this has that I'm getting out of this a little bit. Not to say that they are clones of each other, but they are redundant. So I would not see myself getting a full bottle of Herba Leather because I already have that and it's great. Let's check out, um, what was this? Oh, that was Dolce Melodia. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's kind of fruity, floral, creamy vibes. Uh, good quality, but not really remarkable. It's it's fine. And then we have, I think, Liberto. I'm still getting urinal cake vibes from this. 
<laughs> I know that wasn't the intention. I can see how the jasmine is coming out more. It's kind of a dirtier, more indolic type of jasmine without being overly powdery. There's a heady feel to this white floral quality. Very, very dense. And it is spicy. Um, I'm not getting really any sweetness at all. What little bit of peach could have been there has gone. But the spices are really coming through. But I do like it. I don't love it, but I do like it. And I think I like it even a little more than when I first sprayed it. Pasticcio. Pasticcio is nice. It is a beautiful mess. Um, I am slightly reminded of Pegasus. Gosh, and that one fragrance that I cannot name. That is going to drive me crazy. It's like a mix of Pegasus and some Fougere that I have that I cannot think of right now. Um, but I do like it. I do like it. It's my favorite Sospiro that I've smelled thus far. It has the most interest and it seems to have some of the most nuance to it. Uh, so I do like it. And uh, we have Wanderlust. This thing is not going anywhere. Man, woody and green. Sharp, woody, green. Fresh, but not in the brightest way. Uh, try your own risk. It is very intense. It is very authentic. That's what I love about it. I'm, a, I'm for it. I'm, I'm here for authenticity and perfumery. I'm here for, you know, newer experiences, stuff that kind of makes you tilt your head or like wonder what you're smelling. Not just like, oh, yeah, it smells exactly like stuff I love. I, I'm going to wear it. It's like you already have the stuff you love. You don't need something else that's like it. Um, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm talking to myself. The clove note. You, you know, Gerard. Um, where was it? Hmm. I don't think so. No, I'm getting something a little less intense than Bracken Man as far as a Fougere association, but not far off. I do appreciate you saying that. It made me think, I'm like, oh, maybe. It's something smoother than that. Um, and then finally, Labyrinth of Spices is gorgeous. Beautiful Turkish perfumery. Well, that's going to do it. So guys, like I said, um, all the fragrances that I talked about, you can try at the link down below it from X Aroma. They do have these cool little five milliliter travel atomizers, excuse me, that I'm sure you can buy any fragrance in that size before you commit to a full bottle. So do take advantage of that. If you're interested in anything I talked about, a lot of interesting stuff here. Um, I do like this haul. Now, to reiterate, this is fantasy. You don't have to do this to consider yourself a committed frag head. You don't have to blind buy a bunch of fragrances. Again, I did not buy these. They were sent to me for free. I am happy to be upfront about that. I will be talking about them from time to time. And I'll be honest, you know, and I was honest today. So I hope you can see that. And I really hope you enjoyed the stream. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out uh, me in my room randomly on this Wednesday. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I have a very busy weekend coming up, but I will still be uploading um, pretty often. I think I have something scheduled for tomorrow and Friday, nothing on Saturday, and then I think something on Sunday if I can get it done. But you guys will still be hearing from me. Um, I appreciate all of you. We just passed 69,000 subscribers this morning. So thank you. Thank you, guys. It means so much. Uh, for you guys to be a part of the fresh squad to support my content uh we've been going for quite a while and again we're pushing for 100k this year that is the plan and you know we're moving right along so hopefully we'll get there so yeah i appreciate everything you guys do in the meantime anomaly <laughs> of course uh you guys are awesome thank you so much for hanging out and i will see you in the next video take care